Benjamin from uh, Teledyne Blur. Thank you uh, for, for making some time to uh, have a chat. Great for having you here. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> it's exciting to hear about your, your new thermal AI cameras that are being launched here at the ITS World Congress. Can you just tell, tell me a little bit about them and, and how they work? Sure. So the AI is a bit the next step of uh, intelligent transportation systems. And AI is a bit the buzzword. And uh, I'm always explaining, or a lot of people ask me, what is AI? So AI actually helps us to understand traffic in a better way and with less setup. So we don't really have to train every sensor on site and calibrate every sensor. No, the sensor itself will calibrate. So actually you can uh, compare it like if you are explaining a child what is an elephant or a crocodile in the book, in the animal book, and later you go to the zoo and the child will say, hey, that's an elephant. So this is actually how we learn and this is also how you learn AI. And this is now what we have in our new AI platforms. So we can learn any kind of thing. So for example, imagine uh, certainly you want to detect uh, certain buses in a city which are quite unique let's say they are blue and white and this is the local bus and you want to detect only this bus but not the rest of the buses we just would learn at AI we would say the AI hey this is this is the Hamburg bus or this is the London bus and that's something they can learn and then the AI will say hey that's the London bus that's the Hamburg bus and it's so it's constantly you teach it and then it's learning yeah and uh, previously previous generations of the thermal camera you had to they had to have set parameters and they didn't they didn't, yeah. they didn't evolve and learn in this yeah. way yeah in fact yeah. it's all about data so yeah. the data is very important with the let's say old algorithms we can add more and more data to the to the to the algorithms and to the detection but it will not get better so as more data you're adding it at a certain level you are at the top with ai it's different as more data you are having as better you are getting with your with your annotations and with your results and you can collect that you can collect a huge volume of data now with exactly this, with this system and, and not necessarily even know that you need it and go back to it later and it's a sort of exactly uh, yeah. exactly so what we actually do today is because we don't really know what the future of tomorrow is what kind of data we need in former times we said okay we are only looking to cars we are only looking to pedestrians or maybe cars and pedestrians today we are looking to the complete environment that's what we called world tracker and we are making like a digital twin so we are actually copying everything which is there with an id into a cloud world and in one year time, you just go back and say, this was the traffic situation based on numbers. And then you can actually say, OK, I, now I want to know how many scooters I had. Because at that time, scooters are important. But maybe a year ago, scooters were not important. And the AI will have already, will already be able to recognize it. Exactly. It's, it's, the scooters. Exactly, yeah. because it's just tracking everything yeah. which is in the image. And that's, uh, that's the point. We don't really know what is driving us tomorrow. No? Absolutely, and important that you're uh, making this announcement here at the ITS World Congress in Hamburg because, yeah. as I understand it, you're deploying these in the city of Hamburg. That's absolutely correct. Yeah. Yeah, since the last year, Hamburg started a very big project for automatic uh, um, counting stations. Yeah. And we have more, almost 3,000 cameras deployed, thermal cameras deployed in Hamburg so far. And now we also uh, start with the first projects together with them, proof of concepts with the AI versions. And of course, that's a great platform for us. Uh, because we can learn a lot from Hamburg uh, and of course we can be are able to uh, to uh, test things here as well and the thermal the thermal nature of it which you've been doing for many years it's, it's just that that core of it is it has some advantages over CCTV doesn't it definitely yeah. definitely that's one of the reasons why we started here in Hamburg I mean the today the weather is quite nice it's sunny yeah? but normally Hamburg is more rainy and cloudy and uh, especially Hamburg would to look to bicycles and at night time it's very difficult to see bicycles a lot of bicycles have only a small light or even no light and uh, that's why we need a thermal cameras to ensure that bicycles and pedestrians are detected at night time a much higher level of detection. exactly let's have a quick look at uh, yeah. know, some, how, how this works exactly or some of the streets of Hamburg here's the uh, an overview of the city of Hamburg exactly this, so, this is recorded recently or no, that's actually live. Oh, so, this is live. Yeah, we're actually uh, looking yeah. to, a, to a live system. Yeah. So that's um, our cloud system where all the cameras are pushing all the data in an interval of every five minutes or every minute. They are pushing all the data they, they collected into the cloud system. And from there, it spreads into Hamburg, into different authorities, uh, different management systems. But it's also accessible over the cloud. So Hamburg is mainly using this for... Uh, for looking for data to making reports. So if someone says, hey, on this street, I would like to know how was the traffic in the last three months, we can get it very easily. So there are different ways. Uh, first of all, of course, you see the map and every dot stands for an intersection. So if we are, if we are clicking uh, on, on one of the intersection, 
Now we actually can see, okay, uh, how many sensors are installed there. So here we see there are 15 sensors installed, and that's of course on an intersection, 15 cameras, quite a lot. So now the question is, how do you organize yourself? So if you zoom in, um, you see several dots, and these are GPS locations of the detection zone. So at the detection zone, if I open up a video, this is the detection zone, which has a GPS location and comes back, refers to one of the dots. So just allow me to put a satellite on, because then it's easier to understand what I mean. Every dot now is actually in one of these lanes. So now for an operator, it's very easy to navigate. And also the subsystems which are getting the data, they're getting GPS locations. So what every kind of system is using our data in Hamburg, they will exactly know this data comes from this GPS location. So you can use whatever kind of map system to georeference the, the data. So uh, by that, we can actually have different things available, speed, volume. Hamburg is mainly looking at volume because speed on an intersection, that's a bit stop and go situation. Um, we can ask for, for a time period, so let's, let's say let's ask, uh, ask a full, full day from yesterday. And we say we want to see this in 50 minutes resolution. We hit the run button. And then actually now he's downloading the data from the cloud and we can see a complete day. So night time and then you see the morning peak and we stop here at, at, at 2 p.m. Probably because I said uh, something so last, like... something last like 24 hours. Yeah, it was uh, yeah. Uh, last 24 hours exactly. So um, then we have the different classes on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. So these are the bikes, uh, cars and trucks. So we can actually see over this one uh, we more or less have no trucks uh, driving around uh, that part of the city in the last 24 hours. It's amazing, so you're getting a really rich data picture of the city exactly. and, and really going to be uh, uh, give uh, traffic managers a, a much better idea of actually what's happening yeah, on the streets. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And, and it's a quite a lot of data and that was uh, one of the big challenges that we had because every sensor is pushing the data every minute into the cloud. So that's uh, almost 3,000 sensors which are doing every minute a connection. Um, so not the data in general but the, the, all the connections which are built up from the sensor to store it into the cloud. So we are using cloud technology in order to, to be able to handle all this uh, kind of data. Brilliant. And this will enable, hopefully, uh, the, uh, the, the traffic to move a lot more smoothly in Hamburg. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the signal phase and timing, that sort of thing, is going to help with uh, informing that kind of uh, decision. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And all this data is even available for the public. So Hamburg made a decision that everyone can use the data. Uh, so there's a called the Geo uh, Portal of Hamburg. So in this Geo Portal, you can search for data. And all the count stations will be in here, available to everyone, uh, free of charge, actually. So you startups can build their own apps and things like that based on this kind of data. Fantastic. And yeah. yeah. Who knows what people will come up with exactly. to use the data yeah. for. Yeah. And then once the data is there exactly. and open data, yeah. such an important thing that we hear about so much uh, at the Congress, exactly. uh, having, having open data. Yeah. Fantastic system and really, really great to hear about it. So yeah. uh, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for being here. And we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on the progress. Yeah, thank you very thank much. You.